Well, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you so much for being here today uh, to, for this uh, special council meeting. Uh, today is Wednesday, July 25th, and uh, we'll start this meeting as we always do with a roll call of your city council. Council members Aguilar. Here. Anderson Jr. Here. Entenman. Here. Erpenbach. Here. Jameson. Here. Karski. Ralphing. Here. Staggers. Thank you very much. Uh, we will start uh, today's proceedings with an invocation and, of course, a prayer. Uh, we're so blessed to have uh, Pastor Samuel Goethe with the International Outreach Ministries. Uh, I met Pastor Samuel when I was campaigning for mayor, uh, and he's become a good friend of mine uh, now, now that I'm blessed by this role. And uh, so it is with that uh, that I welcome you, Pastor Samuel. And if you wouldn't mind, uh, lead us in prayer, please. Shall we stay on our feet for the honor of the Lord? Let us pray. God of Abraham, as in Jacob, we thank you. We bless your holy name for your goodness. We thank you for this opportunity you have given to us to be together at this time. Your word declare that where two or three are gathered together in your name in the midst you are, I believe that your presence is here. Let your Holy Spirit begin to take control over this meeting. Father, we thank you. I pray for the leadership of this community. You said it in your word that the fear of the law is the beginning of wisdom. Lord, may you give wisdom to every leaders of this community. We thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Let your hands of protection rest upon this community. We thank you. We bless your name. I come against every troubles and trials in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray this our Lord that your favor shall rest upon this community. We worship you, we honor you. I pray for those who are sick this hour. You said it in your word that by your stripes we have been healed. Lord, I declare your healing power in our midst. Touch somebody this hour that your name will be glorified. We worship you, we honor you. You said it in your word that you make a way where there seems to be no way. Lord, it's time that you make a way in this community where there seems to be no way. I pray for the city mayor and all those who are in authority. I pray for your divine wisdom. Give them divine direction which way to go. And let your will be done in this place. We thank you. We honor you. Take your glory forever. In Jesus' precious name, somebody say amen. 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 May you be seated in the presence of the Lord. God bless you. Pastor Samuel, thank you uh, for that. We, we certainly appreciate it. Uh, this is the uh, City of Sioux Falls 2013 budget address, and, and I am here with great, great uh, enthusiasm. Uh, I wanted to start by talking a little bit about the process. First of all, folks, uh, we take this incredibly seriously. And you need to know, it is a ton of work. Uh, I asked the, uh, the finance team especially to, to, to attend this meeting because uh, I wanted to recognize them specifically for, for their work. Of course, the department heads, all the people that work with them, uh, they take this role very, very seriously, and uh, I, I'm proud of the work uh, that has gone into it. Uh, I came from corporate America, as, as you know, and one of the things that we took full advantage of in business and what I'm trying to bring to city government is having the department heads understand the value of working hand-in-hand -hand with their financial analysts and with this finance team. We've come a long, long way in two years, Sioux Falls, uh, in terms of that partnership, and uh, the results are showing. Uh, the financial analysts, they know these numbers as well, if not better, than the department heads uh, and their team as well. And what does that do? It helps us identify opportunities, issues, and certainly uh, helps us to become smarter stewards of the taxpayer dollar. I want to give you some thoughts going into this year's budget process. 
Uh, first of all, uh, I want to let you know, and, and especially the council know, uh, this is not done in a vacuum in any way, shape, or form. Uh, decisions are not based based on just one person. Uh, instead, uh, it's the wants and needs of the community as a whole. Uh, we work with the community, uh, with different community groups. Uh, we get their input. We uh, have employee feedback. And certainly the director's leadership uh, play a, a big, big role in this. Uh, we want to do what is best to meet the needs and the challenges of, of our city. But we also realize that not everybody is going to be happy and satisfied with the decisions that we make. But there's an incredible, incredibly high level of confidence in our, in our town right now. People like the direction that we're going. Uh, they like how we're balancing progress with prudence. And again, even though not everybody is happy with every decision that we're making, the prioritization process is working and it's been well received. And uh, again, because of the leadership of the uh, 1,100 city employees of our town, this city council and others, guess what? It is fun adding money to our piggy bank year and year again. Our town is humming right now and there's something that's important. This town is moving so fast, and city government needs to keep up at the same pace. We've got growing sales tax revenues that we never expected two years ago. We've got low unemployment. In fact, some of the lowest un unemployment rates in the country. We've got people building, people investing again. And we've got healthy reserve levels that I'm just so excited to talk to you about. And again, people are very, very confident. I talked a little bit a couple of weeks ago about our capital plan, and uh, I know I already laid that out for you. I just want to briefly kind of uh, recapture that. We want to keep this city moving forward. Uh, we are growing. We have to ensure that our capacity is able to keep up with that growth. We will continue to uh, rebuild and maintain that, that so critically uh, important infrastructure of our town. I've talked to you about our need to catch up in, in certain areas, especially those uh, indoor recreational facilities. And again, uh, this town is nothing unless we feel safe. And uh, our families feel safe today, and we want them to continue to feel safe. So public safety needs are critical for our town. And of course, everybody loves quality of life investments, and, and so do I. Today, however, I'm going to focus on the 2013 operating plan. Uh, and, and kind of give you a little snapshot. Uh, we need to update, improve, and leverage technology. We're going to continue to improve and deliver those quality services that our people expect. We're going to keep thinking outside of the box, and whenever we can reorganize government and make it more efficient, more accountable, more productive, we're going to keep doing that. And yes, when there are opportunities, we're going to reach out and we're going to grab them. If you only want to pay attention to one slide, then get out of here. This is the one slide that I'd encourage you to pay attention to because it's going to give you a very, very a quick snapshot on what you're going to see in the 2013 budget. First of all, Sioux Falls, we are behind when it comes to technology. We would have meeting upon meeting with the department heads, and the consistent theme with all 12 departments is that we are behind. We need better, we need more people. We need better equipment. We need uh, the latest software to fully capture those opportunities to make government even stronger for our people. And here's the, here's the, the great thing about technology is that yes, it may seem like it's expensive up front, but the payback is unbelievably fast. We are going to hire people in government again and we need to. It's the prudent thing to do. It's the responsible thing to do. Yes, I have challenged these 1,100 employees to do more with less, and they've stepped up. But I also said that as this city grows and as the needs of this community grow, if we are in a position or if, if we need to grow uh, certain departments, we would do that. And you're going to see that in today's presentation. And again, two years ago, we were talking about, geez, how are we just going to get by? Well, now we've got sales tax revenues coming in at levels that we never expected. 
We are going to invest more in 2013, but folks, this is no spending spree. Let's talk about the operating budget. First of all, I'm going to talk about reserve levels. These are reserve levels that are unheard of in the USA today. Be proud, Sioux Falls. Be very proud. Uh, if we assume a 5% sales tax growth in this year, we estimate ending this year at about $34 million in our reserves, about 34% in our unreserved fund balance. Uh, we've got a pattern of that in this town. Uh, this was the responsible thing to do way before uh, I became the mayor. Uh, it was that prudence, it was that conservative nature that has made this city so strong in the years past and will continue to do that in the years to come. Our city government is funded really by, by two main sources, uh, sales tax revenue and yes, property tax revenues for the most part. 77% of our budget, of our operating budget, is funded in this, in this way. Uh, what you're going to see is that you're going to see stable sales tax revenues in the years to come. You will see an inflationary adjustment to the property taxes. And even though we have minimal uh, uh, growth in our property tax base today, uh, I'm very, very excited about, about the future. Again, it, it shows you that our general fund revenues that we're projecting in 2013 will be about $7.3 million more, or 6% than we're projecting uh, this year. Again, we've got a pattern of growth in this town. South Dakota has done well, the Midwest has done well, Sioux Falls has done well, and when folks have chosen to spend money, they like to do it in our town. And the numbers, the numbers reflect that. Just a while ago, we were projecting a 3% year-over-year increase in sales tax revenue for 2012. Now, we're almost doubling that. We're projecting a 5% uh, growth in 2012, and we're projecting that same 5% growth in 2013, and we're doing it with confidence. With all of the construction going on right now, you're going to see property tax revenues improve as well. Uh, when it comes to 2012 and 2013, uh, we're, we're projecting a minimal growth of about 1.9%. But what did I just get done saying? People are growing again, they are investing again, they are developing again, they are building again. And they're doing it at record levels in, in many, many areas. What you're going to see in 2014, 2015, and 2016 are big, big numbers when again comes to the, uh, the growth in our, in our property tax revenues. In 2013, we are going to make a commitment to serve the taxpayer, to serve the citizens, and to serve the visitors who come to our town. The big areas that we do that, again, key in on some critical areas. Public safety is, is, is a big deal for us. Uh, we spend about $51 million on public safety alone. Streets, parks and recreation, those things are things that people want us to invest in. It's that infrastructure that we so desperately want to make sure that we, uh, we take care of, uh, and we're doing that. And uh, you'll see that we're planning on spending around $133 million when it comes to uh, the general fund in 2013. We are spending a bit more money than we did in 2012, uh, but again, this is no spending spree. And our revenues are projected to grow faster than our expenses. And you see that on, on the chart uh, right there. Uh, revenues will grow at about 6% and our expenses will grow at about 5.8%. How did we build this budget? Well, what we did is when you look at the original budget in 2012 of about $126 million, there are some key, uh, key aspects to that growth. Uh, again, we've got 1,100 really, really hardworking city employees, and we need to take care of them. Uh, we know that to do that effectively, you do have to spend more money. And when it comes to wages and benefits uh, and some of those increases that, uh, that, that we have, It'll cost the city about $3 more, million more dollars in 13 
than it did in 12. Uh, we do have to deal with a little inflation. And yes, we do care about service. And one of the things that I know the department heads are excited to talk to the council about are some of these initiatives that are new in 13 that'll take our city to even higher levels of performance. We're gonna keep moving the city forward. Talked about technology and public safety, but also we are making great strides when it comes to things like community health, quality of life, getting our neighborhoods working together in concert, uh, as well as tackling some of the city facility needs uh, of our town. All right, so what, what is in this budget? Uh, just going to touch on, on a couple of things. I talked uh, about our need to improve technology. Uh, we are going to hire some new people. We're going to tackle a scanning project that will make us a lot more efficient when it comes to uh, eliminating some of the paper of the olden days. Uh, we'll uh, implement some things that will improve the servicing of, of our people, uh, such as uh, implementing new swim pass uh, software. And then we've talked about how our uh, technology or our software when it comes to managing the people's money is so archaic. Well, we're going to implement some things uh, that will get us up, up to speed. Uh, we'll keep improving services, whether it be adding new police officers, uh, work t working with our health uh, department. Uh, quality of life is important. We've got a new library that's going to be built soon. Uh, we want to uh, keep improving our service with parks and recreation. And then, yes, uh, I, I did not want to leave here today without talking about snow gates. Uh, I know it's almost 100 degrees today, uh, but I wanted to give everybody an update on, on snow gates. We are planning to test them again this winter. Uh, we'll have six snow gates in six different areas of our community, and this test will definitely provide a more reliable estimate of the operating expenses in future years if our town decides to move forward with snow gates on a, on a citywide basis. What else is in the 2013 budget? Well, community is important. Whether you're young or old, rich or poor, we care about everybody. Uh, we are putting aside $25,000 in, in the budget to uh, work with the Salvation to set up a, a homeless warming site. Uh, that's important to the people of our town. Again, it's 100 degrees today, but we know that uh, minus 10 with 30 mile an hour winds is just around the corner. And we want all people feeling uh, warm and comforted uh, on those cold winter nights. We are uh, going to keep working on improving the facilities of our town. Uh, one of the things that we talked about just the other day is that uh, we are working on a space needs assessment right now. And uh, one thing that I, I, I think I need to make clear to the people of Sioux Falls, uh, I, I love City Hall, and I'm honored to be there. And I think that we should do everything that we can to keep it and refurbish it and make it strong. And uh, we're investing in City Hall right now, and, uh, and I'm really pleased that we're doing that. However, we are growing. Uh, the demands of city government uh, is also growing. And so we do need more space and improved facilities will help our employees serve the citizens of this town even better. I, go, I want to go back to these 1,100 people uh, that work hard for, for our town. Uh, they are the most critical piece of the service pie. They are. But they're also the most expensive piece uh, of our pie. About 70% or almost $90 million of the operating budget is for those men and women that are working hard for all of you. Uh, we are planning on some new bodies in 2013. Uh, we are uh, going to live up to the uh, union contracts that we have by providing some cost of living adjustments for uh, the, the people, uh, the, the men and women who work for our town. Uh, one thing that we've uh, really enjoyed and uh, we're not seeing any changes right now, is that people really like working for our city. Uh, not many people quit. Our turnover rates are at, at amazingly low levels. Uh, we offer competitive wages, good benefits, uh, and uh, we plan on doing that well into the future. When I became mayor, I, I wanted to keep uh, uh, the level of our FTEs as flat as I could. Um, 
Uh, I told folks that uh, my goal is not to lay anybody off, but my goal was to really challenge all of us to make sure that as a team we were uh, finding all those efficiencies and those accountability uh, targets that we have as, as employees, and we've done that. But we are going to grow, uh, we are projecting to grow by 8 FTE in 2013. Well, Sioux Falls, um, we're planning on spending about $366 million to service you, to make sure that uh, we keep moving this city forward and providing not only the services but the infrastructure that all of you expect. We're going to keep listening. We're going to keep learning. Yep, we're going to keep repairing and rebuilding those roads. Economic development will drive our success. We're not going to ever forget about the infrastructure of our town. We will repair it. We will rebuild it. We will replace it. We will keep up with it. And the people of Sioux Falls are pumped that we now are. Uh, again, safety and quality of life is important to all of you, and it's important to me. But if there's one thing that I've heard time and time again is that, Mayor, let's keep moving this city forward. And we are. Uh, the council, their leadership is helping to make that happen. We are strong. Uh, our sales tax revenues, again, are up. Employment rates are low. Expenses are up a bit, but our revenues are up even, even stronger. We are a cautious people, but we're also incredibly optimistic. Uh, we are maintaining healthy reserve levels, and we should be. And yes, there are these major projects that we've been talking about as a community for years that are just within our reach. Working together, we'll grab them and do great things. One last thought for all of you. I know that there are many in Sioux Falls who think that roads and the event center are the, are the top priority for me and for my administration. They are wrong. Fiscal responsibility has been and will always be my top priority. You have my words, Sioux Falls. Thank you, and make it a great day.